Good morning everyone or good evening or good night or whatever time you're watching this video. In this video, I am going to spill the secrets on how I went from this to this. Okay, I went from pancake to a whole watermelon as you can see. Let me tell you how I grew my booty in just two months. I posted this on my Instagram and you guys were going crazy. You guys were like, tell me your secrets, spill the secrets. And that is what I'm about to do. I'm gonna tell you how I did it, how I went from this to this, okay? So let's get into it. But hold on, before we get into the video, I wanna introduce two apps that has been helping me in my fitness journey. The fasting app and the face yogi app. Now the fasting app is an intermittent fasting app as you can tell by its name. Now this app helps you practice intermittent fasting. It is great for women who are trying to lose weight or maintain their weight. Now this app customizes plans and provides personal guidance based on the information you provide them with. This app is great for beginners, people who are confused or people who have very less motivation because they have a bunch of unique content for people like us. Customized video courses and unique articles. Great app you guys. And Face Yogi on the other hand helps you lose face fat. Let's be honest girls, we have been struggling to lose face fat. But Face Yogi app will help you get rid of stubborn face fat. Have y'all heard of any other app that helps people lose face fat? I haven't, this is the first time and I love it. Now Face Yogi app provides customized face yoga training courses, basically helps us improve our facial conditions. Now this app also helps you track your progress so that you will be able to see results. It contains the most popular and effective 117 yoga movements on the internet covering seven main facial areas forehead eyes nose chin cheeks anywhere you can imagine now i have recommended this app to you guys before and i'm recommending it again because i love this app so both of these apps have helped me in my fitness journey so i will link it in the description box below download both of those apps if you see fit it's great so yeah now let's move on to how i went from this to this so i'm going to divide this video into three parts that is my workout my diet and other things that i did basically others okay let's leave it at that and you'll understand later number one let's talk about my workout so of course i have been training at the gym but i did start training my glutes before i went to the gym at home so if you are someone who's watching this video at home and you want to grow your booty at home this video is also for you all you need is water bottles to replace dumbbells or resistance bands now resistance training is great resistance training has helped me actually start working on my booty okay so before i started hitting the gym that is what i was doing i was using resistance bands and basically heavy water bottles and anything heavy around the house to train my glutes so i train my glutes twice a week and now you may ask why twice a week when you can do more reason is you need to rest your body needs rest when you are training your glutes or any muscle in your body your muscles are basically breaking down they're tearing and your body needs time for it to get back basically restore or stick back together even stronger and bigger so that is why i train twice a week and that is enough for me and i need time for recovery for my muscles to be okay again and then i kill them again so it's just a repetitive cycle basically kill them at the gym and recover at home for a few days and then go back and kill them again but you guys rest is really important do not work your glutes seven times a week or six times a week two to three is definitely enough if you're a beginner honestly just start with two now for my workout i have five very effective exercises that i do from 5 to 12 reps depending on how heavy the weight is so basically i have five exercises and each of those five exercises i do three sets three sets which have 5 to 12 reps and the other thing is progressive overload progressive overload means changing your weight every time you get comfortable with the current weight that you're doing so for example when i started hitting the gym when i started working my glutes i was finding 5 kg really difficult when i was on my last rep i was finding 5 kg really really difficult to do so that means i was pushing hard but after a month at the gym 5 kg was too easy for me i moved to seven seven was too easy for me i moved to 10 kg so now i'm doing 15 kg it's difficult it burns my glutes it's not easy but i can do the exercise with the correct form 15 times or 12 times 
so progressive overload is really important because if you're sticking to just one weight the entire time for like three six months you are basically not pushing hard enough because your muscles will get used to that 5 kg and you will not see results so what you have to do is start with a lighter weight start with a weight that's challenging and then a few weeks later that weight will probably be easy for you you move on to a higher weight so that was basically my workout and if you're wondering what my glute workout looks like this is my glute workout right over here you can screenshot it if you want it basically these are all of the exercise that you need you don't need anything more than this this is the ideal glute workout obviously you can change a few exercises depending on what you have at your gym or how you're working out at home or whatever you're comfortable with but this is the perfect glute workout i got after doing a bunch of research for months before i started hitting the gym this is all based on science you guys now let's move on to diet because diet is one of the most important parts of getting your dream body or designing or transforming your body i can't tell you how important your diet is it doesn't matter how much you work at the gym or at home it doesn't matter how hard you work out if your diet is shit you will not see any results your diet is very important i don't know if you guys have heard of it or not but there's a saying 70 percent of your abs are made at home in the kitchen not in the gym so keep that in mind so now let's talk about my diet what was i eating how did i eat yada 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 okay so first things first protein protein is really important when you are trying to grow muscles okay you need protein to grow muscles so i eat my body weight in protein okay so i eat basically i don't always eat a lot of protein i do try to aim for a lot but some days obviously i don't get the chance to or just miss it but i try to eat at least 100 grams of protein every single day okay it doesn't matter how i get it so i get 44 grams of protein from my eggs breakfast and after the gym i have a protein shake that's another 30 grams of protein then i have a protein bar and then for lunch i have like meat that has a lot of protein like chicken breast or steak something like that so how i eat is basically low calorie high protein foods like salads there are so many foods out there that is low in calories but high in protein you just have to do your little research i'm not going to tell all of it right now because it'll take me forever but basically what i do is high protein low calorie so that i am not gaining a lot of weight but i am gaining muscle so i'm in a slight calorie deficit but some days i do maintain my calories but i'm definitely not on a surplus now if you don't know what calorie deficit calorie surplus is let me explain it for you calorie deficit is basically when you eat less than you burn and calorie surplus is where you eat more than you burn and calorie maintenance is basically in between a calorie deficit and a calorie surplus so what i'm doing right now is body recomposition so that means i am trying to maintain my calories or i would eat in a slight calorie deficit that means a 100 200 calories minus how much i burn but that is basically it so eating a lot of protein really helped me grow my glutes like this i have gone to the gym before i've tried to build my booty before but my diet was not clean my diet was basically shit because i thought that i would be able to build my dream body just at the gym no 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 it's your diet okay so basically i eat a lot of eggs i eat a lot of chicken i eat chicken every single day chicken breast every single day and i eat eggs every single day you guys the only thing that is different is my dinner sometimes i could have steak sometimes i could have sausages but i eat a lot of meat now when i have to go through a day without meat which i do for my body i try to do a vegan protein day where i eat a lot of protein but basically a vegan way without meat so that's that and the last one is others like i mentioned in the beginning of this video what are the other things that i do okay number one is cardio i do 30 minutes of cardio 12 3 30 basically what it means is basically 12 3 30 means for 30 minutes you will walk on treadmill at 12 incline and your speed could be three or four whatever however suits you okay but not less than three okay so basically that's what i do i walk on an incline of 12 at the speed of three sometimes four sometimes if i have a lot of energy five for 30 to 25 minutes so if i'm walking at a speed of five i'll probably do for like 15 20 minutes but if i'm walking at a speed of three 3.5 i will be walking on the treadmill at 12 incline for 30 minutes 
which helps me get around 5,000 steps, 4,000, 5,000 steps. Which brings me to my next point, steps. Try to get at least 10,000 steps. And I'll tell you why it's important, okay? Let me tell you why cardio is important a little bit later. But try to get at least 10,000 steps a day. I have been getting around 10 to 12,000 steps a day for the past month. And you guys, I have lost three kilograms even though I didn't want to. Now, obviously, it's kind of the same thing, but not at the same time, but you know what I mean. So basically, doing cardio and getting your steps in will basically help you get rid of your body fat, which will make your muscles pop out, your booty pop out, your stomach flat. Now, if you want to grow your glutes while keeping your stomach fat, which is kind of hard to do, you need to do cardio. Now, a lot of people have belly fat, but they have a big as booty that is because they don't do cardio they don't do anything to get rid of the fat now when you're eating a lot when you are growing your body you will grow fat around different parts of your body as well it's very normal but the key to this to avoid this is to do cardio be active throughout the day ever since i started being active throughout the day and doing cardio and drinking protein and eating a lot of protein it has been a game changer i have been able to gain booty gains so quickly in just two months okay i've been doing everything right for two months and i have been seeing great results my ass is growing every single day okay so that is basically it it is very simple workout diet and others apply those into your life and see how your body will change okay your booty will grow your entire body will change you know your muscles will just pop out more you will lose fat the more you lose fat the more muscles will pop out okay so yeah anyways that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that is it for this video now see you guys in my next video Bye bye